I don't feel good about the win, to say the least. We did some good things in the second half, first half. We didn't guard people that we said are shooters. They didn't believe the coaching staff, didn't believe the scouting report. But uh, I think we did a little better job of guarding them in the second half. We got a little better, better shots. So Kobe made some big baskets for us, to say the least. Uh, Luke found him one time. We got through the ball in the middle against the zone. And Luke found him, and that was good. Luke had six assists, which, as you said, was a career high. Uh, rebounding was big for us, uh, 46 to 25, and then of course 34 free throws out of 37. That's fantastic. So, like I said, it's late. So, guys, what do you have? 19 assists on 25 made baskets. What did you see out of the passing today? Well, we always try to uh, have a lot of assists because we like to share the ball. We like to give the ball to the open guy, and so I think our percentage is probably in the top 20 percent of the country every year I've been a coach, but. 19 of 25 against the zone, you'd think you'd probably have some about like that because you're not going to drive it to the basket and lay it up against their zone. But uh, no, I liked it. So I don't like Kobe having four turnovers. But uh, I thought that uh, it's a little funny. I look down here, it's peculiar. Seven minutes, but uh, seventh had three assists and no turnovers. And I think that was good. He got lost on Bayheim and gave him a three down there. But I think that was good. And, and I think Nasir, seven out of eight from the free throw line was fantastic for us as well. And Garrison's got a stay out of foul trouble. Kobe's uh, third <coughs> game with 30 points. And how do you kind of put the words his, his freshman season from a scoring standpoint, especially after this game? I said before, he's the best scoring point guard that I've coached. I mean, uh, Ty Lawson got to that stage later that he could really score, but uh, Kobe's a scorer, and I've never minded a scoring point guard. I knew he was about to make some because he hadn't made any in the last three or four weeks. So I said something like that to him, and he'd probably tell you that. One I felt sorry for at the end, Kenny Williams didn't know whether he should lay that ball up or not. And he he's, and uh, he just told me, said, I hope that Coach Bayham thinks that was uh, disrespectful to him. And uh, uh, and that's not what Kenny uh, intended by any means. But uh, uh, back to your question, uh, he's 9 for 14, 6 for 11. I think the last, uh, other than the Miami game, he's been 3 for 99. So it's good that he made some today. And I'm not telling you anything I won't tell him. I already have told him. What does the game like this say about Luke's impact? Where maybe he's not scoring, but he has a career high in assists. Well, 12 rebounds was helpful too, and uh, 12 rebounds, six assists. I wish he'd make that layup at the end, because you know at that stage in the game, you either don't shoot it or make the sucker. And so he did both mistakes. But uh, no, I thought Luke was important for us in the middle of the zone and rebounding basketball too. The last four games you had three different guys go for 30. What does it kind of speak to about how last one? The last four games, three different guys have gone for 30. In a game, what is that? Uh, or close, I guess the cam was at 27. Okay, I started saying, I remember losing. Yeah, anyway, the point is that 30. we had three guys going off big, and the, the, just the versatility of having knowing that one night someone potential somebody's going to go off. <coughs> I'd like it better when all of them uh, make baskets, but as I said all the time, we have the ability to score, we just got to guard people a little bit better. But uh, I've had a team, I think I had one team where I had six different guys get over 20. And that's, that's pretty good, too. Anybody else? It's late, guys. Thank you very right, much. Thanks,